I tried to check what time it was on my watch this morning twice while I wasn't wearing it. And it wasn't like it was spread out. I went to check it. I was like, all oh, right, I'm not wearing my watch. And then two seconds later, well, I was basically still thinking that I wasn't wearing my watch. I was like, I wonder what time it is. Good morning, super cool party people. I am back at work and it is my last full day, well, my last day at work and my last full day in the country for about a week and that's pretty cool. I woke up first, not first thing this morning, I woke up this morning when my alarm went off and I was like, five more minutes, five more minutes. I was like, wait, I have to check into my flight. So I did that, so that's great. I have seats confirmed and they're both window seats, which is awesome. The first flight's pretty short, so I wasn't too concerned about that, but the second flight, I wanted a window seat and hopefully, fingers crossed, nobody else checks into the seats beside me because then I'll have my own row. That's never gonna happen. It'd be nice, but it ain't gonna happen. I have a busy day today, that is for sure, so I have to work. The nice thing is there's a staff meeting in two hours, so I only have to work for two hours. Um, I should be able to get all my stuff done in those two hours because I ain't coming back. Um, so work for two hours, staff meeting for about two hours, and then we're going to a staff lunch for the holidays because we don't do that in December, we do it in January. So it kind of sucks because it's like probably about six hours of my day dedicated to work today when I'd much rather be doing other things, but that is fine. And then when I get home, I have to do some of my last minute packing, I have to shower, and then I need to try to get to sleep as early as possible. I tried to stay up a little late last night, so I'd be like super exhausted and wanna go to sleep at like four in the afternoon. So I'm hoping that that works out. We'll see though, but I do have a short period of time that I get to work today, so I am going to go have my breakfast drink and then get to getting stuff done. <laughs> so work portion of the day is complete. It's about 15 minutes till the staff meeting, which means I get my 15 minute break in. <laughs> And game in the system. No, it's a legit break. I'm done. And then food after that. <sighs> busy, busy day. It is like super cold outside. So I just got home and today didn't exactly go as planned. If you remember, I was supposed to work, staff eating, staff Christmas lunch. I've definitely talked about it before and I have an issue processing some sensory things. It's who I am and it sucks. It affects my life for sure. Um, textures a lot, but also as a result, food. So last week I confirmed where we were going for this staff lunch and they're like, oh, it's the same place we went last year. I was like, perfect, because I know that there is food there that I can eat that doesn't freak me out. And it's not, it's not a good situation <laughs> when I come across textures that don't work with my brain. They just don't, they just, they break it. They break it. It's not fun. So today, just before the meeting or when the meeting was starting, they mentioned a different place. And I was like, okay, well then enjoy your lunch because I know there's nothing there I can eat that I can deal with. Like, I'm not gonna go have a mental breakdown and start sobbing hysterically in a restaurant. Why would I do that to myself? So they're like, okay, then it's fine. Like, we can go to the other one. And so we had our staff meeting and then we broke off into other staff like department meetings and then at the end of all that they're like oh we're, you know we're actually gonna go to that other place and i was like okay well enjoy the staff christmas lunch without me then because like i can't go like i mean i could go and sit there but that's not gonna make me feel good and then my boss was like oh like i'll take you out for lunch when you get back from your trip just the two of us we can go wherever you want and it's like it's not about that it's about the fact that I don't need the free meal. I would like to hang out with my coworkers to celebrate that we got through the year, but I don't get to do that because they're like, well, you know, we really liked the food at this place. Great, enjoy. It's fantastic. So it's pretty upsetting. And, and like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, everyone should cater to me because I can't eat food there. Maybe, <laughs> Last week, if you'd mentioned this place, I could say, hey, I can't eat there, can we find some other place? And then they were just like, well, it's either we go to this place and Tiffany doesn't come, or we go to this place and Tiffany doesn't come. That was basically the two options. And my boss is like, are you okay with this? And it's like, there's, it's, it's 12 to one. Like, 
even if I'm not okay with it, it's, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm, you're not gonna be like... By that point, it was decided, well, we're going to this place even though Tiffany says she can't go there. My aunt specifically said it's a texture thing, she can't deal with textures, and yet they still went. And so <laughs> I went to McDonald's and the food there was crappy, like it was bad, like, you know, when you get fries that are like cold and old and chicken, anyways. And then I basically almost cried in the lobby because I was so upset about being excluded. And it's not like I'm saying I don't eat this because I don't like this. It's I don't eat this because my brain is broken and it can't eat this. All right, so I had to take a little pause there, but my biggest issue with my sensory processing issues is that I always feel like either people have to work around it, which sucks because I have to work around it and I get it, it's terrible, or I get excluded from things. And so I think the thing that I'm most upset about isn't so much that they're like, we're gonna go here regardless, it's that I'm being excluded from a staff function <laughs> that I legitimately rearranged my day that I could go to. So, you know, I'm really glad that I'm going away for a week now because I'm kind of just very angry or upset, I would say, with everybody. Um, because it's like, they just put me in a bad situation. Like, are you okay with this? Well, if I'm not okay with it, I'm gonna tell you I'm not okay with it, but nothing's gonna change because I already told you earlier that because of my brain being stupid sometimes, I can't go there. And they're like, well, you know, this person likes this place better than the other one, so we're gonna go there. Wish it were an, wish it were a choice. Anyway, we're just gonna take that off, like shed that upsetness, frustration, whatever it is. We're gonna shed it. And it is two o'clock, so we need to go shower because we're flying out. We're waking up in 12 hours. So I need to shower. I look super pale. Maybe I need to, I was thinking about self-tanning yesterday because wedding's in Florida and I'm breaking out, obviously, but Gotta be up in about 12 hours, so I need to shower. Uh, I need to edit this vlog at some point before I go to sleep <laughs> in a couple hours. And I need to finish packing. So basically just make sure I got my passport, move my wallet. Oh, and that's another thing because I thought I'd get a ride home with my aunt after the lunch and I just have my little travel wallet. Why well, wouldn't I? Anyway. I didn't have any bus tickets on me. So, and my mom was working and her boyfriend's out of town. So thankfully, I had a toonie so I could catch the bus, but yeah, so it's like, great, I'm gonna have to go buy a sheet of bus tickets that I don't need to get home. It was just a really day, a really day, it was a really day. <laughs> anyway, so shower time now, make sure I have everything packed, except for my teddy bear. <laughs> and my, my chargers, like, that I'll use tonight. And then... Yeah, probably bed pretty shortly after that. So, I'll check in with you after, and hopefully we'll be in a more positive state. We just need to kind of focus on that positivity, which is something I'm trying so hard to do this year. But yes, sensory processing makes things difficult. Alrighty, so I had my shower and I am feeling better about things, but it's I'm just still frustrated about it for more reasons than I can explain right now because I don't want to get frustrated about it again. So maybe I'll talk about how, you know, sensory processing issues affect my life on a daily basis or maybe I won't, we'll see. Uh, it's not gonna happen today though because I am a wee bit too tired for that. Well, I'm trying to wind down slash kind of tired. So I am currently in the process of packing up the last few things I need, I hope. Um, last chargers and stuff, except for like my watch charger, which I'll probably pack in the morning. Although, I am charging my watch right now, so I can pack it before I go to bed. Um, yeah, so I think we're doing all right. Just need to start crossing things off the list and, um, go from there. It's about 3.30 now, so I'm hoping to be in bed in about the next hour, hour and a half or so. Because also, there's a time change. So, <laughs> gotta start getting ready to adjust to that. Already it is 4.30 now. I had a little bit of a snack. Probably should have eat, should eat dinner or something. It's not gonna happen, I don't think. And I've just been watching some Netflix. And now I think I'm going to end this vlog and edit it so I can go to sleep. It's gonna be a short one. I know it's a weird one. There was, yeah, it was a weird 
vlog. This day did not go how I thought it was going to go, but that's fine. Tomorrow is another day, and tomorrow is going to be a <laughs> very long day. So with that, I'm going to say thank you for coming along on whatever the heck it is that happened today, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do completely different things. Good night.